So clearly you could tell by the way it was idling that one of my injectors doesn't seem to be firing. And that could be caused by three different things that I can think of. Uh, one would be a clogged injector, and it's probably the most likely. Two would be a bad injector or a burned out injector. And we can test for that, I'll show you how. And the last thing would be a missing injector signal. And uh, I don't think that's the case either. The last set of 550s ran just fine, and I've never had any problems with them not opening and closing. But there's a tool that you can use to test for that. It works great on high impedance injectors, and this is called a Noid light. The problem is, is that DSMs have low impedance injectors, so this isn't going to do me a bit of good. Uh, I can show you how it works, though, for those of you who have uh, a Honda or some other car that uses a high impedance system. Um, these two little pins here you can use to probe into the factory harness while the injector is connected to the car. And I happen to have one sitting here. There's a factory harness. And the nice thing about this is you can do this while it's still connected to the injector. What you do is you take this probe into the back of the weather stripping and there's a, a little rubber seal that goes around each of these wires. This is a weather, weather pack type connector. And uh, you just take this probe and you press it in where the wires go, go in between the insulation and make sure you got it in there far enough to make contact and it allows you to keep that connected. All right. So. On the other end of this thing, you have this little tool here with the suction cup on it. You're supposed to stick that to the windshield so you can see the light. And uh, it's important to see the light. On a high impedance system, it makes enough voltage to light this light bulb up. Don't ask me how, but I'm about to light it up. We'll get to it later. That's the proper voltage that you would give to a uh, injector. And you can see, it just barely lights that thing up. That's not enough to see it. And remember, the injector pulses are quick. And... Uh, so as the car's running, it would take a long time to heat that up, especially at a low injector duty cycle like at idle. So this tool isn't going to help me, unfortunately. Um, but that's how it works. Oh, and when you add the impedance of, a, of an injector to that equation and you send voltage to it, you'd be lucky to get it to light up at all because the injector uses some of that current. You see, I'm pressing the button now and you can't even see that, but it's lighting up. Yeah, you can't see that. So I'm going to take the fuel rail off and we're going to do a couple of tests with these off the car. So there they are off the car. Uh, I'm going to begin cleaning these in just a minute, but uh, first I'm going to do some quick checks. We'll start by checking continuity and uh, impedance across the poles. So we're checking resistance and continuity. And in order to do this, we need a multimeter and a couple of probes. And because we're probing for voltage, or sorry, uh, resistance, we're using that side. And this just uses this just uses milliamps, so we're setting this down as low as we can go to get as much resolution on the tool as we can. So you would just contact the two poles of the injector and take a reading. Gotta make sure you maintain contact here. Two ohms is good. Well, tool zeros. That one's good. 
That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. So the coils on all four of these are good. It's probably just dirty. I've got a 12 inch section of some one and a half inch galvanized pipe here. A couple of threaded end caps and I hope I'm not making a bomb. There was a government van park across the street in front of my house for three hours after I bought this. Probably coincidence, but I'm not kidding. I have plans to install this air compressor fitting in one end cap, then drill and tap this quarter to quarter inch male NPT coupler into the other. Top that with a quarter inch female to male NPT shutoff valve, a quarter inch female to 3 8 inch male coupler, and a 3 8 inch female to male hose barb fitting. That fitting is for this 6AN hose. On the other end of that hose, we've got a 3 8 inch male hose barb to a 3 8 inch male NPT fitting, with a 3 8 inch female to a quarter inch male NPT reducer. I plan to drill the small ends threads out, and you'll see why in a minute. I need a hole that's 0.42 to 0.43 inches. 27 64th is the perfect size for that. I'm putting all this stuff together with Loctite 567 thread sealer. I don't want to use Teflon tape for this because it will be exposed to some pretty powerful solvents. Hammer, drill bits, tap, angle grinder. That's what's for dinner tonight. I'm building a do-it-yourself injector cleaning system. Now for the electrical part. I've got a momentary switch left over from an old alarm system because I'm a pack rat. Grab your nearest spare wiring harness and cut your favorite injector plug off of it. Strip the ends. Cut and strip the other end of the momentary switch wires. Cut heat shrink tubing for the junctions because it's smart. Install the tubing and twist the junctions together. Solder your connections.
Use a torch to caramelize the shrink tubing and season to taste. Tape up the breadcrumbs so nobody knows you were here. Now we have a simple harness that plugs right into the injector. Test for continuity at the harness connector plug and toggle the momentary switch. Good times. Cut a wire on your harness. Don't ask questions, just do it. Strip the ends. Grab some electrical tape. Fold a double A battery into the mix. Polarity is irrelevant. The injector just has a magnetic coil. It works either way. Testing for voltage at the harness connector, I've got double A battery voltage when I press the momentary switch. That's a whole new flavor of awesome. Now I need something to keep the injector from turning into a subsonic projectile while cleaning it. I'm making a bracket that secures the injector to the injector cleaning tool. It's not a complicated or precision task, it just has to work. like a boss.